Welcome to Charcoal, my friends, and thank you so much for joining us today to break open one of the coolest products that Pokemon ever brings out, the Booster Box. Now this time we're going to open up the Astral Radiance Booster Box, which, shall we go with some prices? So in the UK, this is $114.95, about $3.19 a pack if you divide it. In the US, it's $109.99 about 305 each pack. Uh, we have the Euro at 132.95, Canadian dollar 144.95, Australian dollar 159.99, and the poor New Zealands, we get, well, they get 180 uh, New Zealand dollars. So it's quite a lot, so why is it so expensive? Now, when do we break into this? I'll show you why it's so expensive, because a lot of people don't know what a booster box is. And a booster box is generally for local game stores um, or just shops in general that sell Pokemon that sell individual pack. Just, well, terrible what they do that with that white stuff on the edge. And it is individual booster packs. Now you're probably saying, why is it so expensive? You get 36 of these. And to, to be honest, it's absolutely amazing. I recommend if you can try and get yourself one of these it is one of the best things you can buy in the market if you can't try and go to your local game stores and just buy a few random packs because astral radiance is an amazing set to collect and so far it has got some really amazing pulls and i can show you so far as a black code card so we are going to go straight into this everybody because it's a little bit of fun so we got dark energy some sweet honey pella swine a strange looking dinosaur because the new Jurassic Park's coming out very soon, which everyone's looking forward to as well. The Panyard, a reverse history in Growlithe. Yes. Okay, not not <laughs> not the best to start on the video, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, you get my drift. So these 36 packs of, of booster packs here are the way to get your bulk and get all your uh, cards set for the set. So if we get a white code card like that, we're going to go straight into it because you don't normally get anything amazing, but you do get a reverse Celine and we get a Glaceon, which is very good to see a normal standard Glaceon. Very good there. But I'm going to hit on the right hand side because I've got one of these theories. I don't know if it's always, always the right way of doing it. When you go right, you usually get the best cards. Well, that's what they usually say, but it's never ever <laughs> the wait and see turbo. You never know, you see, with Pokemon, because they like to get them from different printers, different distributors. So it's very hard to say what pack's the best from, you know, is it the left-hand side or the right-hand side? Go on, let, let us know in the comments. Would you go for one side over the other? Left or right? So here we go. So you've got Fighting Energy, Feather Ball, Energy Lotto, a Hippo, a Glam Meow, a Puccina, Swinub, a Quillfish, a petrol, petrol, a reverse cricket tot, and we've got a Mac Champ V. Look at the lovely looking artwork they got here. So you can see the motion. He's just going to grab your Pokemon cards away from you. That is a nice looking card. So, of course, we like to sleeve and McSleeve these cards on our channel. We like to keep them protected. And I recommend just grabbing some penny sleeves. These are very cheap to buy from any local game store. And just protect your cards whilst putting them in your binder. So, so far, Astral Radiance has been very generous to us. Now, we've opened a few things now. We've opened quite a few items, and we have got, generally, quite a lot of good cards. By the way, if you do find one of these, don't panic anyone. The V-Star card is generally just a marker for when you play the V-Star, so it's, it's still pretty cool. So, as you see, we've got a black, uh, well, we've got a black reverse, a black reverse, black code card, so we're gonna do, do it this way, just in case we pull anything nice for the channel. We've got a Hippo, a Cyndaquil, a Ponyard, a Hisuian Growlithe, a Reverse Star Tricks, and there we go, the Path to Pink Gold Secret card. Very good to see. I told you the right hand side was the best side. <laughs> God, it's like a, like a Winter Wonderland. So, has it been cut with a butter knife? No, it hasn't. And we're very, very happy there. So, Sleevy McSleever. So, that's not too bad, is it? Was it fourth, fifth pack into it? And we found our secret. Oh. Either their video is going to be really bad now from now on, or it's going to be really good. So, like I said, Astral Radiance has been very good for us. Uh, we've got quite a few of the cards. Uh, my son was very fortunate to pull the uh, Palkia Alternative Art, which I really wa wanted for my chase card. Oh, and the only dragon in the whole set. Of course, we've got the uh, Garchomp as well, but the only regular dragon in the set, which is very shocking, actually. I don't know if Pokemon are going to carry on with the dragon cards. It'll be interesting to see. 
I'm still after some of my cards. I mean, uh, was it the Articuno was pulled, so I was happy with that. I don't know what other cards I want. I mean, I'm, I'm one of these guys. I like the alternative arts. They're some of the best cards you can get in the Pokemon sets. So here we go. So we got uh, Psychic Energy, Asleaf, Sheldon, Uxie, a Glam Meow, Yanman, Swinub, a Nickit, a Petrio, a Reverse Roxian, and another Jurassic Park. <laughs> By the way, that's one of my worst, worst impressions out of a dinosaur. That sounded like more of a grumpy Peter Griffin dinosaur, that one did. Oh, another black code card. So there we go. We go straight into this one with uh, four to the front, four to the back. That's the old uh, card magic trick we all of us YouTubers like to use. It just adds a little bit of suspense into the video, a bit of fun. And also it's good for us to see that hopefully we get a good card when we get to the end of the video. So here we go. So it's oh, a Radiant Grid Ninja. And there we go. It's a Lillian V Old Arts. That's a really good scene. That's a good start. So there's your Radiant Grin Ninja, which has got the lovely pattern. And we've got the old Art oh, Lily Girl, which is very nice to see. Oh, it's 1-1 one, one to me and my son now. We've got a draw going on. So Radiant is a not cut with a button. No, it's not cut with a button knife. And the Lily Girl is a bit of the center. It's a little bit bad this side. But other than that, it's very good. It's Sleevey McSleever it. Oh, is this going to be one of those booster boxes that's just going to keep giving and giving and giving? Oh. I'll tell you what, it's, this, this back, I might need some more of these uh, little hangers at the end. Uh, these uh, little Ultra Pros I use, because people keep asking, and I get it in nearly every single video, where do I buy these from? Go on Amazon and search Ultra Pro uh, well, card stands. And like I said, you can adjust the stands on them. They come in packs of five, absolutely worth their money. I've invested a lot into those now, because I've got quite a few of those in the studio. Uh, to show off my graded cards and they are absolutely stunning and everyone does everyone that looks at this where do you get those stands from it's like we just got it from amazon where else you get it from and uh reverse those chick and a uh a, a, a very nasty looking waspy queen i <laughs> don't want to mess with that one so as you can see we get a lot of booster packs and another black code card everyone blimey god by the time i'm gonna get into this i'm gonna need a few drinks after this because i'm getting so thirsty to join this talking Oh, here we go. So we got Wait and See Turbo, which is still one of the best names. Here we go. We've got an Eevee, a Heracross, a Reverse Miss Miagas. I'll get a problem with that one. And there we go. It's a Gardenia's Vigor. Or Vigor, whatever you want to call it. But that's a very nice card to see as well. <laughs> I'm just really happy. This box is giving and giving. You, I have seen so many people saying Astral Radiance has been terrible for pull rates. I argue with that. So far, every booster box, I mean, we've only opened up two actually off the camera, has been stunning. And the Elite Trainer box, we got three pulls out of uh, my one on the channel, and uh, my son's one, I think he got six. So it's absolutely <laughs> perfect. It's been, the, 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 the pull rates are stunning. I'm very happy to get the Glacier in reverse and a Basque Legion. So that's very nice to see. And uh, some bits and pieces. Another Transforce Rex thing there. Very good to see. I'm not even oh, I'm not even halfway through this side yet. Oh, that is, I need to speed up a bit. Another Black Go card. What's going on? Come on, Pokemon. And there we go. Another one of these V-Stars. Oh, I, I like collecting them. It just makes it a little bit of fun to, the, you know, to look at and look through your binder. Uh, Gold Luck. Uh, Side Duck, Togepi, a Magnemite, a Waltz, oh, a uh, uh, Sneezer, uh, whatever it is, a Hisuian, Overquill, and we got Roxanne Rainbow! Hang on, we got one of each alternative art with well, hang on. We've got a Rainbow, we've got a Gold card, we've got an alternative art, a Trainer card, a Radiant, and a Magic. All we need is a V Max, and we've got absolutely everything out of this box set. And this is just the right hand side. See, I told you, see what. Another black card, I told you. This set is constantly given. It is a great set. And this is why you should all go out there and get some Astral Radiance, because it is one of the most funnest sets I've had since Shining Fates and Hidden Fates. So here we go. So we've got a Chatot, a Reverse Ponyard, and a Tokyo's Hollow, which is a very nice one to see as well. So there we go. I'm not going to hollow the, the uh, sleeve the hollow, because if I keep sleeve, I'll have no room in the back here, am I? So we're gonna get, I'll get another Black Co card, Pokemon, Pokemon. Now this this actual box just came from your known local like LGS. It's, this has not come from Pokemon. Pokemon do not send me anything. I buy everything I get for the channel. So at the end of the day, this is not like favoritism or anything. So here we go. So we got a reverse history and Samuel, and we've got another Mag Champy. What have we got? A double double going on here. What, do you know what? This never happens. 
but for some reason, Astral Radiance had a few problems with Prince. My lad's one, he got two of the um, origin form uh, Palkias in his, which I thought was really odd, because I don't usually see two of the same card being uh, shown. But I tell you what, absolutely stunning. Don't be a black one. It's a one. Oh, everyone, take a breath. Take a breath, everyone. It's only a white code card this time, so there's nearly nothing special in there. There we go, reverse Swid Up and a History of Overquill. So it's there we go. So sorry I'm just rushing through the white code cards. I think at the end of the day, you guys don't want to see me pull the uh, all the uh, uncommons and commons. But sometimes in these white code cards, you do get a little surprise. Because you have got the trainer galleries in there, and we haven't seen one yet. So it's reverse Togepi and a Cleaver, which I love this Pokemon. This Pokemon is amazing. Now, at the same time as me opening this up, they have just made the huge announcement of the Violet and Scarlet Pokemon game coming out on November 18th, I believe. Oh my word, those two legendary Pokemon at the end. Soon as we saw them, because like purple is one of my favourite colours, I was like, I'm having so that guy with the uh, jetpack. That jetpack looking legendary is so going to be my Pokemon. And uh, lucky enough, my son wants a red one, so we'll be sharing it, no doubt, on the uh, game when it comes out in November. A reverse choice. And there we go, here's your Decidii. Decidii V-Star as well. Blimey. So we've got a bit of everything now. Just like I said, we just need the V-Max now. Uh, the card is looking very nice. I mean, I love these V-Stars. Uh, it's not being cut of a butter knife. Centering's a little slightly off, but not compared to normal. I need some more stands, don't I? Blimey, I've only got one more left there. I mean, this is only the right hand side. Oh my word, I'm gonna get knackered. I should have done this a part one, part two, really, shouldn't I? Please don't be black. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, you know, black coke. Oh, here we go. And there we go. There is a trainer gallery Frostmoth with Melody. That's a very nice looking card there. That's a lovely looking cool card. Anything with uh, iridescent holographic stuff, I'm a sucker for. I really like this stuff. Oh, dear. So we have nearly got one of every single card. I totally forgot about the trainer gallery cards. So, just on the right hand side, that is the pulls everyone. Let's move this out of the way. Let's just sort out my cards. Sorry, I do apologize, let me sort these out. So just the right hand side, there are my pulls. You would not believe that, would you? You would not believe that at all. I'm gonna try and get the lights, it's not as bad, but absolutely stunning. We are now gonna tuck these away. And we are going to move on to the left hand side and see if we get any luck. I don't think we're going to get any luck whatsoever because we've pulled all the meaty ones now. So I'm going to put them all over there like that and get ready for the left hand side. Wish me luck, everyone. Well, I should, do you know what? I've had enough luck. I've done well there. I'm happy. Do you know this booster box has done well? It really has given me this booster box. There we go, black code card. So I've, I don't really want to say it's a theory. But I always have had a hunch that the first six booster packs of a booster box is always the most luckiest of both sides. And I've always had this hint just to see what it is. And I've kind of proven it right a few times, especially with the golden secret card as well. So there it goes, a Zamazenta V trainer card. And a I'm very happy to get the cleaver there. Look at the cleaver. Hold on, I'm more excited about that, to be honest. Look at that. But there's the trainer gallery Zamazenta with Hop. Everyone's favourite guy from Sword and Shield. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. But yeah, I'll tell you what, Zamazenta's looking well angry. Look at those eyes. Blimey. So uh, not too shabby either. So that's our first card from the uh, left-hand side, which is a very, very good card to see. Oh, so where was I talking about uh, new games coming out? Yeah, Scarlet and uh, Violet. Let us know in the comments. What are you going to get? You can get one of those. Because I think I think that's going to be like the Sword and Shield plus the Arceus. It's going to look an absolutely stunning looking game. And they reverse Wish Cash and Feeble, which we have too many Feebles at the moment in this game. Um, also, at the same time as well, I heard the news about the Pikachu on the ball. Uh, the card is actually coming out in the UK and you can get it for free from game. Now, game in the UK, for everyone that's outside the UK, it's like a GameStop. It's somewhere where you can pick up your games and uh, just chat to cool people. Just uh, about all the computer games. It's just trust just why these lights, these lights are a bit bright on these cards again. There we go, that's better. And um, yeah, so we're going to be able to get it in December during the World Cup here in the UK. A reverse hair across. And there we go, another issue in the city IV. Wow. Second card in the left hand side. Pull two cards already, that's really good. So all these poor people that went and actually, I mean, the only, the story is with the Pikachu V futsal card, was you had to have a team in the futsal league, um, which was uh, for, uh, an under, I, mean, I think it's for children mostly, but um, obviously we 
got people get hold of the cards really early. Oh, we're going to see something shiny and a Kingdra from the trainer galleries. It's another lovely looking card with a Reggie Ice. So it's a very hard card to get hold of the Futsal Pikachu. Not many people would actually get hold of it unless they actually had someone that was in the Football League or unfortunately went on eBay, which the price has soared up to like £2,000 when they first come out. Then over time, they kind of like bellowed out a little bit between £200 and £300 a card. But now, Pokemon have made the announcement that it's now available in-game December this year. So everyone out in the UK, I feel sorry for anyone who bought that card. Oh, do you know what to be honest? I nearly bought that card because I wanted it for my collection. But I did hold fire just in case there's any like specials they're going to do anything. A reverse Sheldon. And there we go, it's an origin from Palkia Vista. How many cards have we done now? <laughs> oh my God. I'm kind of praying there's no more black cards now. Oh my word. So the back of this is a nice looking back as well. So there we go. It's just, oh, fourth card. There we go. Very nice. But now, yes, the game's going to have them. They're going to be free of charge. So everyone will be, oh, not another one. Everyone is going to be able to get themselves one of the most hardest cards to get here in the UK. And we can ship it out to all you American, New Zealand, Australian, Canadian, anyone that's a fan of Pikachu, we can now get them to you at a much better price. So uh, we're going to see those prices completely drop. So I'm just very excited about having that card available because I've been so wanting that card for a very long time and it's come down in price. It's very good to see. So as we're starting to get to like the last, like, how many have we got left now? Uh, like 10, 10 cards left probably. I haven't been counting, to be honest. It's best not to count. Hey, Reverse Regiago. That's very good six. I needed that one. And uh, an Arcanine. And a V-Star. So it's the third V-Star in this whole set. It's a very good one, that one. So I haven't said it yet for the channel, but if you're new to the channel, welcome to Cart Child Cart. If you uh, like, like seeing us open up Pokemon stuff, we open up Pokemon stuff all the time and have a little bit of fun. And if you're a long-term subscriber, thank you very much, my friend, and it's great to see you again. So I got my words more up because I'm getting a little bit thirsty, and this is a, this is becoming one of those videos. I'm like, oh my, we're not another black coat card. So it's getting very, very hard now. This. Oh, let's see what we get. Please, I would like to get a V Max and uh, probably like an alt art for the uh, trainer gallery because I've been missing quite a few of those so far. So let's see, we've got, we've got Quillfish, Oshawott, Hoot Hoot, a reverse D World Drill, and we've got a Hisu and Samurott V, which is a very nice one to see again. Blimey, you're going to have the stars constantly going on the screen at the moment. There we go. So uh, the back end's not too bad. Uh, the center is a bit pants up the top there. Wow. Here we go. So we get into the last few more packs. White Co card. I think this has to be the success, most successful V Star box, what Astral Radiance box we've ever opened up on the channel. I mean, booster boxes you normally get the average pull rate of probably about between seven and nine. That's what generally what we've always had on the channel. Oh no, we go. We got a Flapple as well. Pla a Flapple, Flapple. There we go. It's a nice little trader gallery card there, and a Manu Swine, which is very good to see. Some other cards as well. So. Very nice to see. And also the Mickey Mouse balls, which I don't know how Pokemon got away with that. I don't know if that's a nod, nod, wink, wink about Disney. But there we go. So there's the Flapple card, which is very good to see. Uh, very, very good center on that one. So I'm very happy with that. Wow. So, so far, both sides completely debunked my theory about Astral Radiance. It has been a great booster box and i would like to thank every single one of you who've actually watched this far into this box break and thank you so much i mean you guys are amazing you really are amazing thank you so much for uh, all your lovely comments just i mean you guys are so positive it's great to see and you know they always say the pokemon community is one of the best communities out there and you, know, you guys deserve a pat on the back because you guys rock so here we go, so we've got Fire NG, Quicker 2, Spicy Curry, watch out for the spice. We've got some Quellfish, uh, Cypher, Togepi, Combi, a Chatot, a Reverse, Sneasel, bless you. And we got a Misprit, so it's very good to see another Hono as well. It's very exciting, that one. Oh, four, no, five more packs. Can we see a, another, oh, oh my word, not another Black Coke. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We've got to get some more hollows. Actually, I need quite a few hollows for the set. So uh, let's give this one a go. We need some more hollows. Come on, Pokemon. Give us a hollow. So Fossil, Bronzong, Nick it twice. Togepi, Chatot, Magnemite, Teddy Rosa, a reverse, Bravery. And there it goes. A right dear V. <laughs> Another V. Oh, come on. We've got to get a V Max. And we've done the whole shebang then, everyone. 
Very good to see. Uh, Centering a little bit off put in that one. So, uh, oh, I'll keep knocking the microphone and camera. I do apologize. I'll sort out the setup one day, but I'm quite happy with this setup of the studio. It's very well. Works well for me. So, here goes a white coat guard. So, we are starting to get to the last few packs now, and it is starting to wind down. But, like I said, thank you so much for watching us. I really appreciate all your feedback, all your likes, everything you do for us. You guys are amazing. And um, honestly, I hope all your Pokemon carries on the way it's going for us on this channel at the moment. It's been amazing. And we've got the Pokemon Go coming out next month. Hang on, when, June the 1st when I'm recording this. So yeah, we've got Pokemon Go coming out next month. So hopefully we all get some great and amazing cards for that as well. Let's hope we get some cool stuff in there. Uh, Trek and Shoe. Oh, there you go. So that, also, the only lightning in the uh, whole set as well, which is very interesting. Last pack magic. There's no more cards in there. None left. Uh, by the way, sometimes these codes do represent something, but if they do, there you go. So... I don't know if it does. It might be like, oh, we're going to get a booster pack from, booster box from that set because it's really good. So we've got a white code card. I'm not surprised because you've seen all the pull rates. we got absolutely amazing pull rates this time. And I see a Quill Viva and that's it, I'm afraid, everyone. But thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.